Kashmir awaits justice. A grandfather was struck from his car by Indian security forces and shot dead in front of his grandson. The traumatized child was later filmed in the security forces vehicle, framing it as a bravery of Indian forces. However, this brutal murder of a Kashmiri grandfather has shook the world today. For the world, this might be for the first time to witness such barbarism of Indian army, but it is the everyday victimization from which Kashmiri suffers since decades. Family members witness unwarranted murders of their loved ones every day in broad daylight. For nearly a year, Hindu ideologistic government has imposed a siege on Kashmir, cutting off all communication lines, restricting movement, and putting prominent Kashmiri politicians under house arrest. While the world witnesses the Indian barbarism, yet the Kashmiris are locked inside their homes with no aid and help. The government's decision to revoke Article 370 of India's constitution, which ensured the Muslim majority state its own constitution and independence over all matters except for foreign affairs, defense, and communications, was undoubtedly the most far reaching political move on the disputed region in the last seven decades. However, Neither the Indian government's decision to impose direct rule from New Delhi nor its attempts to silence the Kashmiri cries for freedom and dignity is anything new. Kashmir bleeds every day, demanding complete freedom and peace, which is the basic right of every nation.